Hey guys, it's iTech of a week, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 5.0.1. Alright guys, so to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1, uh, the final, uh, we're going to use Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8, you can see it right there. Uh, the reason I uh, said the final is because they al they actually released betas for the uh, 5.0.1 for some reason, they're at least Beta 1 and Beta 2. Uh, and uh, this same Red Snow uh, will jailbreak both of those betas along with the final. I actually just restored to the final, uh, and I got that right there. iPod, it says right there, iPod 4, 5.0.1. Uh, so I actually just restored that, and uh, this latest version of Redstone will also jailbreak it. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead, and well, actually, first of all, I'm going to show you that I am on 5.0.1 on my device, and I'm not jailbroken. Go to Settings, General, About, and then uh, you can see right there, it says Version, uh, Official Focus. 5.0.19A405, which is the same exact uh, build as that one right there. Now, before we get into this jailbreak, I want to say that this is a tether jailbreak, which, which means every time you turn off your device and back on, uh, you do have to reboot with Red Snow in the just boot mode, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit later in this video. There's also something called a semi untethered jailbreak, which is a lot nicer than uh, the normal tether jailbreak. I'll also go ahead and explain that later in the video. Now that that's out of the way, uh, I just want you to understand that this is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, uh, in Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8, the link for Beta 8 will be in the description. You can go ahead and download that. Uh, you're going to go ahead and go to Extras like I just did and then select your IPSW. And you're going to go ahead and select uh, 5.0.1. Uh, so I got 5.0.1 right there. Uh, and that's So you're going you're gonna to select that one. If you're going to error something for some reason, go ahead and just select the 5.0. Uh, the final one uh, but anyway we're gonna go ahead and click open and yep yeah, I got that error so it says unsupported IPSW so we're gonna go ahead and just select uh, 5.0 the final which uh, and that is the build right there 9A334 just make sure you get the right one that is the build there we go it identified it so hit OK you're gonna go ahead and click back and then jailbreak and it'll prepare all this stuff. So now you're going to select the options that we would choose here. Uh, obviously, you're going to install Cydia. You will not need to install a custom bundle. And if you want battery percentage or multi touch gestures, go ahead and select those. We're going to hit next. And this next part is DFU mode. So to do DFU mode, all you have to do is hold the, the power button on your device and the, the home button on your device together for 10 seconds. And then you can just release the power button and just continue holding the home button. Uh, it's normally for about 8 seconds, but just keep holding it until Redstone recognizes it. So Redstone is on this page right now. Make sure on that same page. And um, we're going to go ahead and do DFU mode now. So my device is right here. So we're going to go ahead and do what I said to enter DFU mode. You're going to hold the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds. And then release the power button and continue holding the home button until Redstone recognizes it. And like I said, it'll be about 7 seconds. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power. We're just going to continue holding this. I'm going to go ahead and move the device back to the computer. And just things in my way. Okay, you can release the power button now. Uh, excuse me for that thing popping up. Anyway, you can see Red Snow. Start, once Red Snow starts doing something, you see the screen change in Red Snow. That's when you know you can release the, the, uh, the home button. Uh, so you, once it says explain with lime ray, that's what it says. You can release the uh, the home button. So on the device, it's uh, downloading the jailbreak data. You can see right there. And on Red Snow, it says rebooting. And now it just gives you the note. This is a tethered jailbreak. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain that right now uh, while it's finishing up on the device. And that is what the device looks like right now. Uh, so what tethered jailbreak means is every time you turn it off and back on. Uh, well, actually, if you turn it off, you cannot get it to boot back on unless you. Uh, use Red Snow and the just boot mode which I'll show you in a second here. Uh, use enter DFU mode again uh, which we just did. Uh, so you have to enter DFU mode and run Red Snow at the same time to get it to boot up. So a tethered jailbreak is definitely a pain. Uh, however there was been a semi untethered jailbreak that was released and I also did a video on that so I'll put an annotation or a link in the description or something if I remember uh, and you guys can go and check that out. And what a semi untethered jailbreak lets you do is you can turn your device off and then back on. Uh, just anything related to Cydia uh, will not work like any tweaks or apps or anything you have uh, installed from Cydia none of those will work um, along with either Safari or Mail I can't remember which app it is but either Safari or Mail will not work 
So a, a semi untethered jailbreak definitely helps out a lot uh, with re with uh, rebooting because if you turn off your device accidentally or something, you you can still listen to music if you're traveling or something. Uh, but again, so the device will start up if you're on a semi untethered jailbreak. So if you install that. Uh, once it boots up, and if you've got your computer next to you, then uh, to get everything working again, like sitting everything, once you, to get that working again, uh, you'll have to run Redstone to just boot again, uh, which I'm going to show you here in a second. So the device is booting up. Uh, the first time it will boot up, like right now it will boot up, but after you turn it off after that, it will not boot up anymore. So we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Redstone again, beta 8. You go ahead and go to Extras, select the IPSW, go ahead and select the same one, 5.0. Uh, if it, if 5.0.1 is recognized, then you're good. But if it doesn't, just go ahead and do 5.0. We're gonna hit OK because it successfully identified it. Now on the device, uh, you can see I got City right there in my dock, and it's all white, and it does not open. It just kind of does that transition to open the app, but does not open it. And, we're, and actually, um, normally when you're on Tether Jailbreak Mail, uh, you, you can see opened up, and Safari. Uh, you can see it opened up. Both of those are working. So actually, on the semi untethered jailbreak, both of those should work actually, because this is I don't even have the semi installed, and it's those are two are working. So those both might work. I don't know. You have to try that. Uh, but anyway, you can see Cydia does not work, uh, and that's the main point of jailbreaking. So we already selected the IPSW. So we're gonna go ahead and click on just boot, and it's the same screen as before, uh, explaining DFU mode. So we're gonna go ahead and do DFU mode once again. So power on home button in 10 seconds, and then release the power until Redstone recognizes it. So let's go ahead and do that. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release that. Come back to the computer. Make sure you got your thumb on the home button yet. And red snow should. There you go. So now, uh, exploding with lime rain. It should say soon, or whatever. Uh, because you can release it right now. Once it once it transitions, you can go ahead and release it. Uh, it's uploading the first stage, second stage. And it's waiting for their boot, and you should see the pineapple logo soon here on the device. And when you see that, you know everything's working good. So there you go. There's the pineapple logo. Red Snow says rebooting, and it's done. So when this boots up, everything should work fine. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you Cydia. So now Cydia finished preparing the file system, so we're gonna open it up again. And now it asks who you are. Uh, just select whatever one you want. I'm gonna do developer. Uh, and you can see Cydia is working perfectly fine. It's updating the database like it normally does, and everything's working good. So you can see the jailbreak worked successfully. Um, and again, if you get uh, an error in Red Snow when you hit Extras and you select your IPSW, if you get an error when you select 5.0.1, just make sure you select uh, 5.0 then, uh, and it'll work fine. I hope everything went through smoothly for you guys, and if you came across the problems, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll respond to you shortly and help you out with whatever problem you have. But if this video worked perfectly fine, go ahead and like it down below. And you can subscribe up the top to be notified when I release new videos. Uh, and that'll also notify you when the iOS 5 untethered jailbreak is released, which should be here uh, within a month, I would say. Uh, it's my estimate. It's not when you know, so I don't comment on that. I'm just saying that's when I think it'll be here in about a month. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.